Good morning students. Welcome back to social class. I am very happy to meet you in this session. How are you students? I hope you all are fine and safe. Students, now we are learning economics part. Is it? From economics part, now we are learning economics lesson 4, government and taxes. Students, today I will complete this lesson. Okay. From this lesson, what are the things we learned in the previous classes? Have you remember students? First of all, I am going, going to recall few important points about uh, previous classes. Okay, from this lesson, uh, what are the important points we learned? First of all, we learned about tax. Tax is a compulsory financial charge levied once annual income. Is it? From this lesson, uh, first of all, we learned about role of government in development policies. Uh, there are seven policies are there. The first one is defense. Second one is foreign policy. Third one is conduct of periodic election. Fourth one is law and order. Fifth one is public administration and provision of public goods. Sixth one is redistribution of income and poverty alleviation. And the last one is regulate the economy. Then next we learned about tax and tax system. Tax, the tax, the word tax originated from taxation. That means estimate, is it? Then taxes, tax are compulsory payments to the government without expectation of direct return benefits to the taxpayer. That means taxes are the compulsory payments. Compulsory we must pay the taxes to the government. Okay. Then uh, we learned about the tax system. Tax system. Some of the system. For example, um, some of the economists give uh, the list of canons of taxation. That means uh, accepted rules. Some of the rules. For example, canon of equity, canon of certainty, canons of economy and convenience, canons of productivity and elasticity. Is it? Then, next we learned about why taxes. Why we want to pay the taxes for the purpose of the improvement of society, the poor people, education, health care system, public safety, etc. We need to pay the taxes. Is it? Then in the second class, we learned about types of taxes. Have you remember students how many types of taxes? Very good. There are two types of taxes. What are the two types of taxes? Direct taxes and indirect taxes. Is it? Direct taxes and indirect taxes. What is meant by direct taxes? Very good. Direct taxes that means imposed on an individual or organization which is paid directly to the government is called direct taxes. That means the tax imposed on an individual or organization. Okay, that particular persons or organization paid the taxes to the government directly. That is called direct taxes, is it? Then, what are uh, the direct taxes? Very good. Income tax, wealth tax and corporation tax. Some of the direct taxes are income tax, wealth tax and corporation tax. Is it? Income tax. Income tax is the most common and most important tax. It is levied on an individual in India. That means uh, all the people get the income tax uh, uh, for their, uh, their uh, income. Okay. For their income. Then this income tax was first introduced in the year 1860. Is it 1860? Students who introduced income tax in India? Very good. Sir James Wilson. Okay. Sir James Wilson introduced the income tax. That means according to, to their income, the particular persons want to pay the tax to the government. That is called income tax. Is it? Then the second one is corporative tax. Second one is corporative tax. That means uh, the taxes uh, levied on companies. The taxes levied on companies. That means payment to one person to one company to other person to other company. 
Okay. Then the third one is wealth tax. Third one is wealth tax. Wealth tax. That means those who are have the property, that particular persons want to pay the tax. That is called wealth wealth tax. That means property owners uh, want to pay the tax. Okay. That tax is called wealth tax. Okay. Then next we learned about the indirect taxes. What is mean by indirect taxes? If the burden of the tax can be shifted to the others, it is called indirect tax. Okay. Then some of the indirect taxes are very good. Stamp duty, entertainment tax, excise duty, goods and services tax. Is it? Stamp duty, entertainment tax, excise duty and goods and services tax. Then the first one is stamp duty. Stamp duty is a tax imposed on the property. Is a stamp duty. It is a tax imposed on the property. Then the second one is entertainment tax. It is a type of tax imposed on the commercial areas. It is a type of tax imposed on the commercial areas. Then excise duty. It is a type of tax imposed on the manufacturing goods for within the countries. It is the tax imposed on the manufacturing goods items for within the country. Okay. Then goods and service tax. That means uh, when a customer buy a goods or services, that particular persons want to pay the taxes including that goods and services. That is called goods and service tax. Okay. Then uh, the GST. Uh, GST was passed in the parliament on very good. 29 March 2017. Is it? Then uh, this uh, GST Act was effect, came to effect on very good. 1st July 2017. Okay. Then structure of goods and services. There are three types of structure of goods and services. Is it? What are they? Very good. State goods and services tax, central goods and services tax and integrated goods and services tax. That means local goods and services tax. Then finally we learned about how are taxes levied. Is it? Finally we learned about how are taxes levied. Taxes are levied on the basis of three ways. Is it? What are the three ways students have you remember? Very good. Progressively, proportionately, and regressively Pro progressively proportionately and regressively okay Propos uh, sorry Pro progressive tax progressive tax means tax increase the taxable amount also will increase is a tax increase uh, uh, sorry income increase the tax also will increase for example 10,000 income means 10 percentage want to pay the tax 20,000 income means 15 percentage want to pay 30,000 income means 25 percentage of taxes want to pay the uh, government. Okay. Then proportionate tax. Proportionate tax means lower class people, upper class people and middle, middle class people all are pay the same amount of taxes. Okay. All the people are pay the same amount of taxes. For example, 10,000 rupees income means also, 20,000 means uh, income means also, 30,000 rupees income means also, 10 percentage of taxes want to pay to the government. Okay. That is proportionate taxes. Then finally, we learned about regressive taxes. That means um, the income, that means uh, um, equal income, same tax. Always want to pay the uh, same tax. That is regressive taxes. Okay. These are the things we learned in the previous class. Is it students? And also I gave some question answers. Did you learn students? Those who are did not learn, day to day portion you must learn. Okay. Okay students. Now let us come forward to today's class. Okay. Today I am going to teach black money, tax evasion, taxes and development and difference between tax and other payments. Listen very careful students. Today I am going to teach black money, tax evasion, taxes and development, difference between tax and other payments. Okay. First of all, I am going to explain black money. First of all, I am going to explain black money. Black money, that means money earned illegal activities. Black money means money earned illegal activities are called black money. 
okay for example uh, the money uh, that particular money tax is not paid to the government the black money taxes are not paid to the government example hidden to pay tax to the government okay hidden to pay tax to the government that is black money listen very careful students now i am going to explain the definition of black money black money is funds earned on the black market on which income and other taxes have not been paid listen very careful student black money is a funds or money earned on black market okay earned on black market that particular money taxes that income taxes have not been paid to the government okay the uncounted money that is concealed from the tax administrator is called black money listen very careful students black market through black market earning money that particular money uh, taxes were have not been paid the government the uncounted money that is concealed from the tax administrator is called black money okay then i am going to explain the causes of black money okay causes of black money there are some causes are there in black money i am going to explain few causes okay the first one is shortages of goods shortage of goods then the second one is licensing proceeding licensing proceeding that means get permission to the manufacturing products to the government then contribution of the industrial sector contribution of the industrial sector that means the it contributes gdp it contributes gdp then the fourth one is smuggling fourth one is smuggling that means to take things secretly that means illegal transportation to take things secretly or illegal transportation smuggling means to take things secretly or illegal transportation okay the last one is tax structure tax structure that means the tax levied on annual income the tax levied on annual income there are three structure of taxes are there central state and local that means state goods and service tax central goods and service tax and local goods and service tax okay then the next one is tax evasion the next one is tax evasion evasion means non payment of taxes evasion means non payment of taxes okay listen students tax evasion is the illegal evasion illegal evasion means non payment of taxes okay illegal evasion of taxes by individuals corporations and trust individuals corporations and trust okay tax evasion it is the illegal evasion non payment of taxes by individuals corporations and trust okay then the important tax evasion activities are under reporting income inflating deduction or expenses hiding money hiding interest in offshore accounts listen very careful students some of the tax evasion activities are under reporting income under reporting income means mis reporting of income okay then inflating reduction or expenses inflating inflating means the prices will tax amount will rising and uh, decreasing okay then under reporting income okay under report income then hiding money hiding money hiding money that only black money is it then hiding interest in offshore accounts hiding interest in offshore accounts offshore accounts means international banking license okay international banking license hiding of the interest in international banking license okay these are the important tax evasion activities okay then the next one is tax evasion penalties tax evasion penalties listen students if a person will fully commits the act of tax evasion he may face felony charges 
suppose one of the persons commits the act of evasion that means they are not paying the tax to the government that particular per person may face felony charges felony means act of committing crime act of committing crime felony means act of committing crime that particular person is treated as crime okay then tax evasion penalties include imprisonment of up to 5 years and high amount as fines that means if a person is not uh, paid the taxes to the government that particular person want to pay tax evasion penalties penalties that means uh, uh, some of the fine for example uh, the imprisonment for 5 years up to 5 years and they want to pay the high amount of fine suppose they did not uh, pay the taxes means that particular person want to pay high amount of fine sometime that particular person will get imprisonment of 5 years okay that means 5 years punishment jail they want to go to jail okay then the second one is the defendant may also be ordered to pay for the cost of persecution defendant defendant means a person accused of a crime in a court of law a person accused of a crime in a, in a court of law that means those who did not pay the uh, taxes that particular persons are treated as crime okay then the third one is tax evasion penalties can be harsh depending on the severity of the crime the penalties that means the punishment is very harsh very um, harsh and also uh, how they are giving the punishment means according to their severity of the crime okay then the next one is taxes and development the next one is taxes and development now listen students the role of taxation in developing economies is as following that means some of the uh, taxes and development policies are there the first one is resource mobilization the first one is resource mobilization mobilization means capable of movement mobilization means capable of movement okay listen students taxation enables the government to mobilize a substantial amount of revenue substantial substantial means large taxes enables to the government to mobilize a large amount of revenue okay substantial large amount of revenue then this tax revenue is generated by imposing direct taxes some of the direct taxes and indirect taxes the tax re revenue is generated by imposing direct taxes and indirect taxes that means uh, some of the direct taxes uh, such as personal income tax and corporate tax some of the direct taxes such as personal income tax and corporate tax then some of the indirect taxes such as customs duty and excise duty etc okay then the second one is reduction in your equalities of income the second one is reduction in equalities of income okay listen students the taxation follows the principle of equity okay equally want to pay the tax that means the direct taxes are progressive in nature okay that means the um, lower class people upper class people and the middle class people also want to pay the same amount of taxes that is called progressive taxes is it students uh, through uh, it is the form of progressive tax okay uh, some of the indirect taxes also for example luxury tax this also the progressive taxes then uh, next one is the social welfare welfare next one is the social welfare welfare okay listen students taxation generates social welfare taxation generates the social welfare social welfare is generated to higher taxes on certain undesirable products listen very careful students taxation generates social welfare the social welfare is generated due to higher taxes certain undesirable products that means unwanted products where get high taxes for example alcohol products for example alcohol products undesirable means unusable or not wanted things okay 
the unusable or not wanted things productions uh, where the government levied high amount of taxes okay that is called uh, social welfare okay then next one is foreign exchange next one is foreign exchange that means taxes and encourages exports and restricts imports generally developing countries and even the developed countries do not impose taxes on ex export items listen very careful students uh, taxes and encourages export and imports taxes and uh, where encourages export and imports um, generally the developing countries and developed developed countries also do not impose taxes on export items okay impose taxes that means compulsory to pay do not compulsory to pay on export items then the fifth one is regional development regional development that means taxation plays an important role in regional development okay tax incentives such as tax holidays for setting up industries in backward regions which includes business firms business firms that means some of the companies or business companies okay business companies were uh, set up industries in such regions okay group of industries were set up some of the industries in each regions okay that regional development each regional the industrial firms that group of companies were set up some of the industries in each regions to develop the particular areas and develop the economic condition of our government okay then the sixth one is control of inflation the sixth one is control of inflation taxation can be used as an instrument for controlling inflation the taxation mainly the taxation is used to, to it is one of the instrument of controlling inflation uh, that means raising prices of goods and services it control raising the prices of goods and services okay through taxation the government can control inflation by reducing the tax on the commodities through this taxation the government can control inflation by reducing the tax on the commodities okay then the last one is difference between tax and other payments the last one is difference between tax and other payments listen students the difference between the tax and payments are tax is compulsory to government without getting any direct benefits that means without when any expecting any benefits directly we want to pay the taxes to the government compulsory we want to pay the taxes to the government but payment that means fee is the payment it is for getting any service any service through any service we can payment pay the fee okay then if the element of revenue for general purpose of the state uh, predominates the levy becomes a tax if the element of revenue for general purpose the general purpose also the state government will levy the taxes okay but while a fee is payment for a specific benefit privileges although the special to the primary purpose of regulation in the public interest that means the primary purpose alone uh, the uh, government uh, regulate the public interest okay then the next one is tax is a compulsory payment tax is a compulsory payment but fee is a voluntary payment tax is a compulsory payment fee is a voluntary payment okay then if tax is imposed on a person he has to pay it otherwise he has to be penalized penalized means punishment that means once the government impose the taxes for a person means that particular person must pay the taxes to the government otherwise that person will get the punishment okay but on the other hand fee is not paid if the person do not want to get the service if the person no need to get the service means the fee that means payments no need to payments okay no need to pay the fee then next one is in the case tax payer does not expect any direct benefit tax payer that means compulsory we want to pay the tax without any expectation 
without any expectation that means directly we want to pay the tax example income tax gift box wealth tax vat etc these all things we want to pay okay vat vat means sales tax purchase tax entertainment tax luxury tax lottery tax and state surcharge okay then fee payer can get direct benefits for paying fee for example stamp fee driving license fee government registration fee etc okay these are the difference between tax and other payments okay can you understand students shall we recall the points students today we learned about black money today we learned about black money black money means money and illegal activities is it black money means money and illegal activities and also hidden to pay tax to the government hidden to pay tax to the government that means black money is funds earned on black market on income and other taxes have not been paid the uncounted money concealed from the tax administrator is called black money is it some of the causes of black money we learned is it what are the causes of black money first one is shortage of goods is it second one is licensing proceeding third one is contribution of the industrial sector fourth one is smuggling fifth one is tax structure is it this is one of the five mark question students listen very careful black money means uh, it is the funds earned on black market on which income and other taxes that means uncounted money concealed from the tax administrator is called black money then causes is shortage of goods license proceeding contribution of industrial sector smuggling and tax structure okay the next we learned about the tax evasion tax evasion it is the illegal evasion tax evasion is the illegal evasion that means non payment of taxes to the governments by individuals corporation and uh, trust then some of the activities are there in tax evasion is it what are the activities under reporting income inflating deduction or expenses hiding money hiding interest in offshore accounts is it then next we learned about tax evasion penalties that means if a person is not pay the tax that particular person will get a crime that means penalties that particular person will get penalties or that particular person is treated as crime that particular person get imprisonment up to 5 years and that person want to pay high amount as fines okay then uh, and also the person that the defendant may also be ordered to pay the cost of prosecution that means a person accused is a crime in the court of law that person also uh, want to pay the fine or get the punishment then tax evasion penalties is very harsh depending on their crime okay the next we learned about taxes and development some of the development uh, uh, during uh, through taxes some of the development things we learned for example resource mobilization reduction in inequalities of income social welfare foreign exchange regional development control of inflation is it resource mobilization that means taxation where enables to government to mobilize substantial amount of revenue large amount of revenue that means through indirect and direct taxes the government uh, levy taxes to the persons or companies or some of the all the organization through goods and services also okay then reduction inequalities of income that means uh, they followed the progressive taxes direct taxes through progressive taxes that means the uh, lower class people upper class people and the higher class people also get the same amount of taxes okay then social welfare for the purpose of social welfare the higher tax on certain undesirable product that means uh, some of the unusable uh, products get high taxes example alcohol okay foreign exchange the taxation encourage to export and imports that means the government um, do not impose taxes on export items okay then the next one is regional development next one is the regional development that means taxation plays an important role in regional developments okay then finally control of inflation control of inflation means 
taxation can be used as an instrument for controlling inflation that means raising prices of goods and services it control the taxation control the raising prices of goods and services then finally we learned about the difference between tax and other payment difference between tax and other payment see so these are the things we learned in this class students i completed this lesson now you will take your book take your book turn the exercise pages turn the exercise pages page number 326 page number 326 choose the correct answer uh, some questions already i gave again i will repeat the first question the three levels of government in india are union state and local a option second one is in india taxes are including c option both a and b third one is which is the role of government in development policies d option all the above okay then the fourth one is the most common and important tax levied on an individual in india is income tax c option okay then the fifth one under which tax one nation one uniform tax is ensured very good so goods and services tax is it you will mark c option goods and service tax c option then income tax was introduced in india for the first time in the year 1860 in the year 1860 then tax 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 is charged on the benefits derived from property ownership wealth tax answer is b option answer is b option okay then eighth one what are identified as causes of black money d option all of above that means shortage of goods high tax rate smuggling all of above okay d option answer is d option then roman number 2 fill in the blanks roman number 2 fill in the blanks first one is tax is levied by government for the development of the state's economy tax answer is tax t a x tax number 2 the origin of the word tax is from the word taxation taxation t a x a t a o n taxation number 3 the burden of the tax tax cannot be shifted to others direct tax d i r e c t direct tax fourth one the goods and service tax act came into effect on 1st july 2017 answer is 1st july 2017 fifth one the uncounted money that is concealed from the tax administrator is called black money answer is black money b l a c k okay black money then choose the correct statement roman number 3 choose the correct statement which of the following statement is correct about gst okay first one gst is the one point tax uh, the this aims to replace all direct taxes levied on goods and services by central and state government uh, it will be implemented from 1st july 2018 throughout the country which is the answer students very good c option 1 3 and 4 are correct 1 3 and 4 are correct c option answer is c option okay then roman number 4 match the following roman number 4 match the following first one income tax answer is direct tax income tax answer is direct tax number 2 excise duty excise duty sorry income tax indirect tax okay students number 1 income tax indirect tax income tax then excise duty excise duty listen students listen match the following students one correction is there roma number 4 match the following roma number 4 match the following first one income tax that is direct tax okay income tax that is direct tax answer is direct tax number 2 excise duty answer is indirect tax excise duty answer is indirect tax vat vat value added tax vat value added tax then gst 1st july 
ஜி எஸ்டி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஜூலை டூ தௌசண்ட் செவன்டீன் தென் பிளாக் மணி ஸ்மக்லிங் பிளாக் மணி ஸ்மக்லிங் டிட் யூ மார்க் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ வில் ரிப்பீட் ரோம நம்பர் ஃபோர் மேட்ச் த ஃபாலோயிங் இன்கம் டேக்ஸ் ஆன்சர் டேரக்ட் டேக்ஸ் எக்ஸைஸ் டியூட்டி ஆன்சர் இன்டேரக்ட் டேக்ஸ் பிஏடி ஆன்சர் வேல்யூ ஆடட் டேக்ஸ் ஜிஎஸ்டி ஆன்சர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஜூலை டூ தௌசண்ட் செவன்டீன் பிளாக் மணி ஆன்சர் ஸ்மக்லிங் ஓகே தென் கிவ் ஷார்ட் ஆன்சர்ஸ் ரோம நம்பர் ஃபைவ் கிவ் ஷார்ட் ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபைவ் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஆல்ரெடி ஐ கேவ் இஸ் இட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபைவ் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஆல்ரெடி ஐ கேவ் த சிக்ஸ்த் கொஸ்டின் யூ வில் மார்க் த சிக்ஸ்த் கொஸ்டின் வாட் இஸ் மீன் பை பிளாக் மணி வாட் இஸ் மீன் பை பிளாக் மணி பேஜ் நம்பர் த்ரீ டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் வாட் இஸ் மீன் பை பிளாக் மணி பேஜ் நம்பர் த்ரீ டுவெண்ட்டி பிளாக் மணி ஹெட்டிங் தட் ஃபஸ்ட் பேரா ஃபுல்லி பிளாக் மணி ஹெட்டிங் ஃபஸ்ட் பேரா ஃபுல்லி ஓகே தென் நம்பர் செவன் செவன்த் கொஸ்டின் வாட் இஸ் டேக்ஸ் இவேஷன் வாட் இஸ் டேக்ஸ் இவேஷன் பேஜ் நம்பர் த்ரீ டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் பேஜ் நம்பர் த்ரீ டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டேக்ஸ் இவேஷன் ஹெட்டிங் ஃபுல்லி யூ மார்க் தட் மீன்ஸ் டேக்ஸ் இவேஷன் இஸ் த இல்லீகல் இவேஷன் ஆஃப் டேக்ஸஸ் பை இண்டிவிஜுவல்ஸ் கார்பரேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் ட்ரஸ்ட் டேக்ஸ் இவேஷன் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் இன்க்ளூடட் அண்டர் ரிப்போர்ட்டிங் இன்கம் இன்ஃப்ளேட்டிங் டிடக்ஷன் ஆர் எக்ஸ்பென்சஸ் ஹைடிங் மணி ஹைடிங் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இன் ஆப் ஷோர் அக்கௌண்ட்ஸ் அப் டு தேர் யூ மார்க் தென் லாஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ரைட் எனி டூ டிஃப்ரென்சஸ் பிட்வீன் டேக்ஸ் அண்ட் பேமெண்ட்ஸ் ரைட் எனி டூ டிஃப்ரென்சஸ் பிட்வீன் டேக்ஸ் அண்ட் பேமெண்ட்ஸ் ஓகே பேஜ் நம்பர் த்ரீ டுவெண்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் பேஜ் நம்பர் த்ரீ டுவெண்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் ஒன் டேப்லர் காலம் இஸ் தேர் இஸ் இட் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் டேக்ஸ் அண்ட் அதர் பேமெண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தேர் டூ பாயிண்ட்ஸ் அலோன் ஆஸ்ட் இன் யோர் கொஸ்டின் ஸோ யூ வில் மார்க் தேர்ட் அண்ட் ஃபோர்த் பாயிண்ட் தேர்ட் அண்ட் ஃபோர்த் பாயிண்ட் தேர்ட் பாயிண்ட் டேக்ஸ் இஸ் ஏ கம்பல்சரி பேமெண்ட் ஃபீ இஸ் ஏ வாலண்டரி பேமெண்ட்ஸ் தென் ஃபஸ்ட் அண்ட் தேர்ட் பாயிண்ட் யூ வில் மார்க் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் அண்ட் தேர்ட் பாயிண்ட் ஃபஸ்ட் பாயிண்ட் டேக்ஸ் இஸ் கம்பல்சரி டு த கவர்மெண்ட் விதவுட் கெட்டிங் எனி டைரக்ட் டைரக்ட் இன் பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் Uh, fee is the payment for getting any service then third point tax is a compulsory payment fee is a voluntary payment okay you will mark it then roman number 6 roman number 6 brief answer first question already i gave second question also i gave is it then the third question what is black money write the causes of black money what is black money write the causes of black money page number 325 page number 325 black money heading black money heading that first para fully then causes of black money heading fully up to tax structure up to tax structure black money paragraph fully causes of black money para full that five points also you will mark okay students all the question answers i gave that's all this lesson all the question answers you must learn and write in a rough note get parents signature students the next class i will teach the new lesson we will meet the next class thank you students